Hi, it's Abel975 and welcome to the really Dangerous on the Legacy version on Xbox. And today I've got a bit of PvP that happened while we were out pirating. Uh, now I was a little way from Scooby when this fight started and he was fighting a vet in his pirate uh, cutter. His pirate cutter is pretty sound. I mean, it's a decent solid build, but it is a pirate ship. So he's giving up boosters for manifest scanners. It's giving up space internally for cargo racks, hatchbreaker limits, collector limits. So it's not a full ball PvP build. And it will crack against the full ball PvP build for obvious reasons. Um, he's also got some interesting weaponry on there. It's quite fun. Uh, me, I'm in my ridiculous um, shieldless Cobra Mark IV with four fixed missiles and a beam laser. And all the missiles are there just to cause effects. So there's the uh, FSD Disrupt missile, uh, the one that heats you up, the emissive missile, and I've got uh, my favorite, which is the, <laughs> the, the stupid enzyme missile which is terrible but f so much fun so anyway so i jumped in and this guy had been fighting scooby a while and it'd been pretty even fight i jumped in and the guy immediately legs it and i was quite surprised because i was like oh i expected him to totally ignore me and just carry on fighting scooby to be honest because you know but i don't know if he looked at what other ship had dropped in i don't know if he realized it was a shieldless cobra mark four I think if he had, he'd have just turned around and started blasting me. Um, but instead, he decided to go for a run. Um, and this is where things got weirder, because he tried low waking with Scooby right up his jacksy, and me, as you can see, just spamming missiles into him, including FSD Disrupt. So it caused no ends of problems for him. I even corroded myself, as I always do in this ship. Um, part of the fun, because you just fly through that uh, enzyme missile cloud when you get this close to people. But it doesn't matter. It's all about causing them alarms and effects, and you know, I, my Hulk can take it. Um, but yeah, so this guy's decision making was not on point. If you like to escape, if you didn't want to fight, just high wake. Um, now, I will say this: I deeply respect this gentleman, and um, I will happily give this commander a billion credits uh, for being a good sport, because this is probably one of the most slow, painful deaths. Uh, in Elite Dangerous. This is a horrible way to die, and yet he took it well. Um, there was no abuse. It was all GG's. It was fine. Um, and uh, yeah, so I respect that a lot. So um, I would happily pay this man a billion credits for his attitude and his behavior in game. Absolutely exemplary. Um, yeah, he just needs to learn to, learn to like when to uh, wake and you know, when to high wake and when to low wake. And I, I don't know who had the um, ECM. I don't know if it was him or someone else. But yeah, there was a couple of times I think my missiles got affected by an ECM. And um, yeah, it was probably funny the way it's just it, the way it just panned out was hilarious. I'm going to switch to Scooby's view and shut up for a minute, and then I'll be back in a moment uh, as we get closer to the end of this fight. Yeah, honestly, I was just really surprised how it went down. Um, you know, I expected him to jump out, and it was just brutal. The, the amount of warning messages he must have got from the amount of missile hits, the spam of, like, FSD disrupt and all the rest of it. Um, with all that chaos going on, you know, I've known any experienced commanders panic and log with those sort of things happening. So fair play to this guy. Absolutely cap off to him. He took it well. 
And uh, like I say, yeah, I'll happily compensate this guy a billion credits for what he went through in this situation. It was a rough one. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you this last little snippet with sound. Boy, we've had the wrong fight to pick. <laughs>